so guys welcome back to the channel back again with a new video guys um it's been a long time since i've done a video um but here or whenever we'll just jump straight in so i bought this tractor at the plowing championships 2023 and i said right i'll do a bit of unboxing of it since it is a new britain's as you can see in the box it says new um it's a new release so i said why not uh do a video on it um and i kept it in box haven't taken it out completely so we're just going to have a look at the box first um as you see it's a john deere 4450 um and then nice box some nice uh different off cuts or shots of the tractor um i'm not sure if uh more people could tell me if it's uh american spec or european spec on the what's on the box but i'm pretty sure it'd be uh american spec to be honest um and it's funny thing on the one on the tractors on the, the boxes here they all have mud guards as you can see on the front uh front mud guards but on the actual tractor itself it doesn't actually have mud guards but uh that's the box anyway it cost me 40 quid um so yeah let's just get it out of the box and uh see what it's like so she's out of the box now and now we can have a good look at the tractor um detail wise um this the first time me seeing it um so the reaction is genuine <laughs> i'm really really surprised with this steer and this is very very strong very goodly strong built i think um for a front axle for britain's model it's obviously going to have to be tight because it's brand new it's not second hand um very very nice um you can see the toolbox a bit of detail in there with the starter motor being painted um you can see you can make out a lot of stuff from the engine you can make out the injection pump filters the top of the silencer or if yeah this is or the airbox there um obviously the mesh grill lovely john deere 44 4450 um to the back we have obviously the taillights that's probably where a little red uh triangle is meant to go for this back of the tractor um uh, britain's hitch obviously um nice set of lights here i really do like them they're some nice detail um and then obviously the reflectors up here look really really cool um uh, yeah very nice um we'll take a look or a uh, closer look at the cab now um so i'll lift these up and show these into the cab what we're look dealing with here um wow that is really well detailed you can get the found camera to focus now um that's very good. It's a nice sticker. Um, steering wheel, seat. Obviously, all the controls there. over on the rev counter right hand side. Um, not so much um, any gear sticks. As so, well, you can kind of make out that they're there where the spool valves are, where the gear shifter should be. Um, pedals on the floor, but very much, very well detailed. Um, I do like the, has the John Deere logo, obviously, on the steering wheel. And then the upholstery is all correct. And the seat, obviously, as well. Uh, very nice. Um, and oh, even the cabs. Well, I think that's just what's well, usually done out. And oh, it's not actually. There's actually a bit of detail there. You can see um, the switches for the da for the obviously the air condition or the air cons. Um, oh, there's actually some surprisingly a lot of detail there. Um, many tractors don't or manufacturers don't really focus on the top roof of the cab, but they all went all out with this one. This looks really cool. Um, yeah, all in all, a very, very nice, very, model. very, very high quality. I'm very, very happy with it. Very well done to Britons for making this lovely tractor. Um, yeah, I'm very happy with it. Uh, savage. Uh, let me know, guys, what you think. I know she's missing the front weights. Uh, a set of weights would have been nice that you could take off. Um, but uh, other than that, looks pretty well. So I'll leave you with a shot of her with a uh, implement on the back of it. And uh, yeah, thanks very much for watching, guys. Cheers.